welcome to the Property Elite podcast. I'll be your host, Jen Lehman, Chartered Surveyor and Co-Founder of Property Elite. Stay tuned each week for more on industry hot topics, market updates and new RICS guidance. In this week's podcast, I take a look at the RICS Bishard Review, an independent review into the RICS's purpose, governance and strategy. It's essential listening for all APC and ASOC works candidates, as well as qualified chartered surveyors. So firstly, what is the Bishard Review? The RICS appointed Lord Michael Bishard to lead an independent review into the RICS's purpose, governance and strategy following the publication of the Levitt Review in 2021. In his opening letter to RICS members, Lord Bishard commented that... One of the key recommendations within the Levitt Review was that RICS Governing Council should appoint an independent external person to carry out a review into the institution's purpose, governance and strategy. I was recently appointed by Governing Council to carry out that review. I regard it as a privilege to work with one of the world's greatest professional institutions at such a critical moment in its long history. And I hope that I can use my experience in the public, private, academic and charitable sectors to deliver a review that does justice to this institution's distinguished heritage. My aim is to produce the report by June 2022, engaging with the widest possible range of members, candidates, fellows and stakeholders to understand the challenges and opportunities facing the institution and produce a report that wins the support of a wide cross section of our ICS. With over 134,000 members, I recognise that a complete consensus is unlikely. However, I want to ensure that as many people as possible can feed into the final report so that our ICS will be in a strong position to rise to the challenges, rebuild its reputation and re-establish trust with members, firms and stakeholders around the world. I'll be making firm recommendations on the purpose and governance structure of our ICS and providing advice on values, culture and strategy, which can be taken forward by the incoming leadership team and governing council. I'll use a website to keep everybody updated on progress and today I'm inviting you to contribute to the review by sharing your thoughts on the purpose, governance, strategy and culture of our ICS. A call for evidence will close at midnight on the 22nd of January 2022. I know that RICS has undertaken several reviews and consultations in the recent past, and you may be suffering from a degree of consultation fatigue. Nonetheless, I want this review to be a positive one. And I hope that you'll want to be involved in shaping the future of the institution, and I look forward to hearing from you. So what are some of the objectives of the review? So to create clarity about RICS's purpose, given its current position and the context within which the profession and institution operate. To make proposals for the future, putting RICS in a position to stand as a beacon for best practice and governance, transparency and accountability, strengthening the reputation and position of members and the institution itself with the public, industry and governments. And finally, to make proposals for the new leadership and governance body on ensuring that RICS's strategy, governance structures, culture and resources are appropriate to meet its purpose and containing mechanisms whereby they can be reviewed and refreshed so that they remain relevant in the future and to support its obligations to act for the public advantage. These outcomes will then be taken forward by Governing Council. So as of January 2022, the review's initial call for evidence was open with a closing date of the 21st of January 2022. Thanks for listening to the Property Elite podcast this week. Head to our website to check out our full blog, free and paid support resources and services, free consultation for every single RICS APC and ASOC RICS candidate, and also ask us any questions you have via the website chat blog. See you next week.